There has been a recent discovery in the community that is currently spreading like wildfire that is about the book Hard to Bear by Isabel Olderberg, a book that covers the ever-challenging topic of miscarriages that was discovered to contain the words from Joe Brum, the creator of Bluey himself, saying that Chili's reaction in the episode The Show was to reference her own miscarriage, as well as saying that's what the entire episode is about, essentially. Now, I want to give credit where credit is due by saying that this discovery was made by the Reddit user HappyHealthy27, and that the original post will be linked in the comments and description of the video. But I want to focus on why learning this is such a big deal, because of how certain scenes change because of this new information, as well as how it changes how I look at Bandit and Chili's qualities and traits as a parent as a whole. Wackadoo! Top marks! And because this essentially confirmed one of the most popular theories in the Bluey fandom, which was suggesting that when Bingo's belly popped here, and we see Bandit reach over to console his wife Chili, this surprise reaction as well as comfort from Bandit was because of Chili's own past of suffering from a miscarriage from her first attempt at child. I started talking about Bluey due to my history of working with kids and therapeutic setting, which has inspired me to start this series, and it feels fitting to be discussing how this new information changes things for the character Chili, considering last time we discussed how Chili is considered to be the best mom in media, but this new revelation sheds a lot of light into multiple different things inside and outside of Chili's character, such as her sister Brandy isolating herself. Look, I have to go. This was a mistake. Bandit's dedication. I promise I'll always love you. And not to mention the new level of impact Damn. from the symbolism seen within episodes such as Sleepy Time, Rain, and many more. But before we get into the rainbows and onesies of the video, <coughs> don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You have no idea how much helps me out to get these videos out to more fans like you. And let's get into why Chili's miscarriage changes everything. There's something Auntie Brandy wants more than anything as well, but she can't have it. And there's not really anything anyone can do. Why can't she just have the thing she wants? <sighs> I just felt like I was doing everything wrong. These things happen, honey. I'll tell you what I do. I have a little cry. Just don't ever give up, Chili. Then I pick myself up. I'm sorry, Chili. It's just hard seeing you all. And keep going. I didn't give up. That's the difference. The only one of those I know how to do is the crying one. Then just do that one for now. Your mum sounds nice. Yeah, she was. To start, I think it's very important that we talk about how miscarriages affects the psyche. I think it can be a little understated the emotional distress caused by both parents when this occurs due to how common it is. Many adults spend months to years of time to prep even for the decision to conceive, so once the decision is finally made, it's often a cocktail of nervousness, excitement, and a lot of happiness. Yes! <laughs> Once you finally succeed, you spend the next couple of weeks and months in preparation, telling family members, buying items, regular doctor appointments, and frankly a lot of life changes, but once you learn that your baby that you've been waiting almost your entire life for isn't going to make it, it's heartbreaking to say the least. There is a ton of things to say that happens in the aftermath, but in an attempt to not get too graphic. The mother has to carry the loss with them until the baby is removed, which is very often not immediate, and the severity of this can change depending on how far along they were. It's a very challenging and delicate topic, but I needed everyone to at least know a little on what occurs so you can more easily imagine the turmoil that occurs. And it's extremely common to develop depression, anxiety, or even increased levels of this for both the mother and father who've experienced this loss. Whenever I think about this, my mind immediately goes to Chili's checklist and what she said to Bingo in the episode The Show, which is where the miscarriage reference is even made in the first place. When Bingo originally gets upset over spilling her Chili's special Mother's Day breakfast, oh, goodness. Bingo runs away. Oh, bingo. She is later found crying by Chili, and she instills Thanks, these Bobby. words of wisdom. I'll tell you what I do. Bluey, checklist. Oh, okay. I have a little cry. Check. Then I pick myself up. Check. Dust myself off. Check. And keep going. The show must go on. 
Now, don't worry, I'm not going to say that the turmoil that it experiences is easily fixed by something like this, nor does the show Bluey imply this either. Instead, I want to talk about the next thing Chili says to Bingo. The only one of those I know how to do is the crying one. Then just do that one for now. That line is the real kicker in the whole revelation of this new discovery. Earlier I mentioned how in the book Joe Brum stated that this entire episode is about Chili's miscarriage, so when she tells Bingo that it's okay if the only thing you can do right now is cry, it makes me just so emotional because you can only imagine how long Chili could only do the first part of her checklist. I've always enjoyed the realism of how Chili presented this checklist before to Bingo, with it being okay to be stuck at certain steps. Then just do that one for now. Allowing the audience to know it's okay to just express your feelings and not dismiss them is an extremely important lesson that is often overlooked in society. This topic could really be its own video, but to briefly summarize it, we are often told growing up that we shouldn't be sad or have really any negative emotions, but suppressing it does a lot of bad instead of good. You want to tell us what's the matter, honey? The emphasis of this mentality to allow yourself to openly feel these emotions Are you okay? encourages your body to process and even heal what has happened to you, making this an incredibly positive lesson, not to mention this episode in Discovery as a whole allows Chili to become an incredibly positive representation for mothers that went through this pain, especially because we know this isn't how the story ended for Chili. The pain that occurs from a loss never goes away. But Chili eventually built up the courage to pick, pick herself up, up dust, dust herself off, off, and, and keep, keep going. going. The show must go on. This discovery means that Bluey is also confirmed to be a rainbow baby, which is a baby that is born after a miscarriage. Now, there is a couple different scenes that becomes more symbolically impactful because of this, as well as everything we discussed before, but before we get into the juicy episode analysis stuff, I would just want to talk about how a rainbow baby affects parents in various ways that are surprisingly reflective of Bandit and Chili's character. <laughs> The easiest one to discuss first is Bandit. While it's common for both parents to gain a mentality of believing that life is precious and are generally more grateful, fathers of rainbow babies are often believed to be more dedicated father due to the heartbreak that comes from losing a child. For anyone that has watched the show, I would imagine your ears would be ringing at this point since we all know how much time, thought, and effort Bandit puts into his children on almost every single episode. He is often praised as being a superb father that always looks at the children's perspective with a gentle mm. parenting approach. I think he's still hungry. To the point that he's gotten an award for best dad that is only given to real life people due to how well written his character is. For both parents, the love that you give your child is often amplified with the rainbow baby because you have this love you wanted to give your first child you never got to meet, all being directed towards the ones that you do have, and can cause fathers to be more affectionate with their little bundles of joy, ah, Dad, let go! as well as being more emotional overall, which for me personally causes scenes where Bandit is allowed to fully express his emotional side much more impactful and immediately draws my mind to the episode Promises, where he says one of my favorite Bandit quotes of all time that it's just that much more special now. I promise I'll always love you. This dedication to their craft is really just parents wanting to keep their loved ones safe, just like the sponsor of this video, Morgan & Morgan, that has kept families safe for over 30 years. Morgan & Morgan is currently the largest injury law firm in America. With Morgan & Morgan, you can submit a claim without ever having to leave the couch. With Morgan & Morgan, there is no need for you to visit law offices and sit through timely consultations. In 8 clicks or less, you can submit a claim to Morgan & Morgan, making it extremely easy of a process. Submitting an injury claim after a car accident is a no-brainer. You can submit your case details, sign contracts, upload documents, and medical records all from your cell phone. And it costs you nothing unless you win. You have nothing to lose and a law firm like Morgan & Morgan can quickly determine if you have a case. So don't overthink it. So if you're injured and you don't know where to start, with Morgan & Morgan, it's so easy. Now let's shift our attention over to Chili, especially the episode Baby Race, which mainly covers the struggles commonly seen in new parents. 
All new parents are anxious and a little paranoid, but as mentioned before, anxiety levels are usually increased in those who've experienced this loss, and a rainbow baby often stirs up a myriad of hard-to-understand emotions all at once. Parents may experience guilt, grief, cautiousness, and excitement when raising their rainbow baby. In the context of baby race, you can definitely see increased levels of these. She gets very excited over Bluey's early accomplishments, cautiousness when Bluey has unexpected developments taking her to the doctor over every single one, and even parent guilt, where she considers herself a worse parent than her peers. I just felt like I was doing everything wrong. In the same episode, Chili is always referring to her giant collection of baby books, which is another sign of her cautiousness with Bluey. The user Eden suggests that this constant checking on her baby's development was potentially her way of coping and feeling in control after going through an uncontrollable traumatic experience. This constant pressure of making sure everything was perfect for her child eventually leads to a boiling point, causing her to isolate herself from other moms and refuse to go to mother's group. Aren't you going to mother's group? Causing Bella to eventually go to her house and show her a picture of her many children, leading Chili to say, Wow, you must have learned a thing or two. Now knowing that Bella has been a mother for so long, a defeated Chili gets some much needed reassurance with her struggles with a scene that we all know too well, but knowing everything that we do now regarding Chili's past makes this scene so much more impactful. And there's something you need to know. What? You're doing great. Baby Race isn't the only episode that changes with this new information we've learned about Chili's past. Episodes such as Sleepy Time become more symbolically heavy through the use of planets, in particular Mercury for the subject of this video. In Sleepy Time, every single celestial body is meant to represent something different in the house or the healer family. Neptune represents the parent's bed, Jupiter represents Bandit, the sun represents Chile, but the two most important planets to focus on for what we're about to discuss next is Earth and Venus. Bingo is seen hatching from Earth, while when we transition over to Venus, we can see it is already hatched, which is meant to be for Bluey. Ah! Oh, Bluey. The only two planets that are hatched are planets that are meant to represent Chile's children, with Bluey coming first since she was born first, while Bingo coming right after as the next planet being symbolized as a second child. However, there's a planet before Bluey and Bingo that remains unhatched, which is Mercury, the first planet of our solar system. It's always been a popular theory to suggest that Mercury was already meant to represent the parent's first unborn child, but due to the new information that we have, I believe it's very possible that this wasn't a coincidence. Joe Brum, the creator and writer of Bluey, has demonstrated in multiple different episodes that he spends a lot of time carefully thinking ahead with his scripts, as well as putting a tremendous amount of effort with subtle meanings or themes found within each episode. I mean, just about every single video on my channel covers and analyzes his amazing writing, so I'm a strong believer that many of these scenes are meant to mean something more than what's presented on the surface. Another episode that changes is the episode Rain. Rain is a very special episode that is similar to Sleep Time, where it uses actions and music to convey majority of the emotions as opposed to words. This episode's entire premise is to show the natural beauty of the world around us that we often take for granted. With Bluey being more carefree and frolicking in the rain while Chili has to do her best, to keep everything clean by rushing to take down anything that would be ruined by the rain, and keeping Bluey from dirty in the house. Bluey spends the majority of the episode trying to make a dam for the rain running down her entryway, using everything she can, even items that were gifted to her by Chili to try to achieve this, only to fail time and time again, while Chili continues to fail to keep the elements from tracking into her house. Eventually we get one of the few voice clips that we get in the entire episode, which is an exhausted sigh from Chili as she relaxes and examines Bluey's clever game, slowly smiling. As an excellent showcase of Chili and Bluey's relationship, right before it appears Bluey's going to fail again, the music starts to swell as Chili steps in to help Bluey complete her quest. However, it's not enough, as she soon realizes that she must abandon her own quest to keep clean by tossing her umbrella aside to finally complete the dam. 
However, just as it looks like they are about to succeed, the rain comes to a halt, creating this air of disappointment. Right before the show demonstrates the natural specter of the world again, as the clouds divide, creating a double rainbow in the sky, a chili embraces her rainbow baby Bluey as they stare into the distance. I think it's important to note that they intentionally put two rainbows in this scene. One obviously for Bluey, and the other possibly meant for Bingo, seeing as Chili was not able to just have one rainbow baby, but two, leaving an extremely awe-inspiring moment that is just that much more impactful. Now how you read the sentence in the book is extremely important on the next episode, Room. The room covers the eventual disassemblement of the baby room originally used for Bluey and Bingo. This was your first bed, and then it was Bingo's first bed. The sentence I'm referring to is, her other children still needed taken care of, so there really was no choice for her but to pick herself up and keep going. When people look at the sentence separated from the rest of the passage, it makes it seem like Chili had her miscarriage after Bluey and Bingo, which would make her getting rid of the room have a different level of sorrow attached to it, seeing as she tried for a third child but failed. However, when you read the entire paragraph and the one before it, the sentence appears to be in reference to the unnamed person's experience and not Chili's. However, it doesn't mean that the scene can't have any correlation to the event either, seeing as the items gotten in this room could have originally been bought for the child that was never born, and getting rid of the items could be a reminder to Chili of what was never was, alongside the sentimental bonds that these items have for her with her other two children, Bluey and Bingo. It's not the room. It's who's been in it. A lot of things in Bluey are often left open-ended to an extent, to allow the audience to make their own interpretations on the meetings, so you can take that Ooh. as you will. The only other episode that changes based on this new information is the episode onesie. Before I get into the episode, feel free to tell me some episodes I missed that you think has some extra weight to it due to the confirmation that we just got. I know how intelligent and diverse you buddies are, so I'm really interested to see what you buddies have to say in the comments. The episode onesie introduces the character Brandy to the show. Hi girls! Hey Which Brandy. is Chili's sister. Hi Chili. It's good to see you and covers her internal struggle of infertility, with the multiple different abnormal behaviors that she displays such as hesitating before knocking on the door, wearing a worried smile when greeting the kids, her soft Hi, tone Chili. when hugging Chili, it's good to see you. Yeah, you too. Randy, problems finding the right say, words to say to Chili, oh, um, look, Chili, yeah? and her attempts to find an escape by literally trying to leave the house. Look, I have to go. This was a mistake. Despite only being there for a few minutes, due to her feeling emotional and guilt-ridden after Chili reminds her that they haven't seen each other in four, four years. years it's said later in the episode how the absence was due to how hard it was for Brandy to see Chili's complete family. It's just hard seeing you all. Essentially a looking glass into what she couldn't have due to her infertility problems. And if this wasn't enough, Chili's youngest child, Bingo, looks identical to Brandy. You look just like you. With similar snouts and fur patterns. Now, I've discussed the possibility of Brandy's reasoning for her absence briefly in my top five emotional Bluey episodes video, and how it's possible she stopped seeing Chili after Bingo was born due to the way it made Brandy feel. And thanks to Meme Machine on Twitter, I've actually been told that in Bluey's big play, in the second to last scene, Chili was heavily implied to have a really nasty fight with Brandy, and that's part of the reason why she was absent for four years. But it's definitely worth saying here, and it has more strong evidence now that we have confirmation on Chili's tragedy. What I said in the video was that if you choose to connect the dots with the statement of not seeing each other for four years and the age of the children during the episode, which was seven for Bluey and five for Bingo, she's five. It's clear that she isolated herself from the family close to around the time Bingo was born. Hello. And this might be confusing since you would think that Brandy would have this lapse after Bluey was born. But let me explain why this would be. A large underlying sub-theme around this episode is about the sister's bond, which is demonstrated through Chili wanting to teach her kids a dance that Brandy and Chili made for their mom. Me and my sister Brandy made this dance up for our mom's birthday when we were kids. Due to Chili's own alluded infertility issues, it's very possible that she bonded especially closer to her older sister Brandy since they have both shared the same struggle. Eventually Chili has Bluey, which didn't seem to bother Brandy. You've grown so much! 
Bluey, you look just like your father. In fact, it probably gave Brandy her own hope that maybe one day that she can have her own rainbow baby. But after two years and Chili eventually having Bingo, this probably broke Brandy's heart. Seeing Chili get not only one, but two children after many years of trying for her own baby likely severed that connection and hope she felt with Chili causing her to distance herself. This being a key reason why Brandy wants to escape so hard during the entire episode, making this scene especially heartbreaking. There's something Auntie Brandy wants more than anything as well, but she can't have it. And there's not really anything anyone can do. Why can't she just have the thing she wants? Because it's not meant to be. And when Brandy looks up into the sky, we can see specifically three clouds meant to represent Chili and her two children, with a bird flying past that is meant to represent Brandy, showing how different and alone she feels. Eventually, Chili joins Brandy in the grass and asks, Are you okay? Yeah. I will be. And with a bittersweet look on both their faces as Brandy confesses her feelings to Chili. I'm sorry it's been so long. Oh, it's just hard seeing you all, you know? I know. Eventually holding each other's hands and slightly smiling, with Chili showing genuine compassion for Brandy's feeling as well as Brandy's well-being since Chili understands firsthand to an extent what Brandy is going through. And as they reconnect with each other, looking up into the sky, now only with two clouds, symbolizing Brandy and Chili's reformed bond, Brandy mentions that next time she comes, she's not, not bringing, bringing any more any onesies, onesies, in which you can see Chili smile even harder, because Brandy just confirmed that she'll be visiting the sisters she misses so much more often. If it wasn't enough, the episode shows the two reconnecting with each other on a deeper level by reenacting the dance that they worked so hard creating for their own mother when they were kids. Me and my sister Brandy made this dance up for our mom's birthday when we were kids. Showing the two efforts to rekindle their sister and sister childhood relationship, ending the episode with an extremely lighthearted note in such a perfect way. I do plan on revisiting that episode for a proper deep dive since I feel like there's so much more I can really say about this episode. And a quick shout out to Fern and Bacon for pointing out that amazing cloud symbolism. It sounds odd to celebrate a discovery like this, but I will say I'm glad we got this confirmation after so many years about Chili. It serves as a way to provide positive representation for others experiencing this and makes every scene with Chili that much more special. Chili really had a rough hand in life. Between her mother passing when Chili was young, Chili's adversities with creating and raising a family, as well as her recently having to worry about the health of her dad. He should take care of himself for me because I still need him. And despite all this, Chili turns out to be an extremely kind and welcoming soul to everyone she meets. And it's no wonder so many people resonate or even inspire to be just like Chili in multiple different ways. It might be a heartbreaking discovery to say the least, but it's one that will forever change how we look at new episodes or even when we rewatch old episodes. And please join me next time as we continue to analyze everything Bluey. I currently have three different videos in the work, the Stickbird deep dive, the Onesie deep dive, and my video covering the musical mastery within Bluey. So make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss it or any new video I make. I just wanna real quick say I deeply appreciate having you buddies. When I originally posted this video's conception, I had all these different viewpoints as well as thoughts that were commented that helped assist me making this video. So I'm just feeling extremely blessed. I don't even know how to say this, but having you buddies as someone I can have chats or discussion with about this amazing show is something I wouldn't change for the whole world. And I want to thank you all for getting me to 21,000 subscribers recently. With this milestone reach, I received some really incredible fan art to celebrate this as well as other fan art. So as in tradition, I'll be showcasing the artist's Twitter handle on the bottom left, and the first one is from Picker Biscuit. This has an incredible space setting, an amazing background. This is such an incredible piece. I love the awe-like look on my face here, as well as the glasses just floating above me. I think that's so, so cool. The next one is from Kitten, where you can see a constellation of my face with 21K above that, with me and her laying on the grass, looking up into the sky. And I really like that you can kind of see the reflection of the constellation on my glasses here. The next one is from Tails. Now, I really like this because you can see 
me as well as five different people within the Bluey community that are all different artists or content creators. So I thought this was really special just to see me and all my buddies all next to each other. And if you look closely, you can actually see a small description on every single character. And <laughs> for me, it says the cool kid. I think that's really awesome. Next is from Bluey and Marshall fan. This is actually says congratulations on 20k. So I'm a bit late on there, but it says hope you get 30k soon, which is really sweet. I really love that. Next is by the artist Maisie. Now they've been drawing these like cartoon-esque like characters for a little bit for almost every single person in the Bluey Twitter community. But here's my character. I told them it reminds me kind of like Pop Tropica art style. So <laughs> they got a, a, a small chuckle out of that, I'm sure. But I really like the stick-like hands right there and the glasses. And <laughs> it's just real chill vibes right there. Now I'm trying my best to limit myself and not show like a billion art pieces because I've got, I've got a couple I haven't shown you guys yet. But here's one I forgot to show that was all the way back in just about a month ago by Jesse with me with the glasses on the top of my head, which I always love. And I really like the art style has the paw pads on the fingertips. That's really cool. And I really enjoyed the way they drew the glasses and the pose here, as well as how flowy the fur tufts look. Thank you all to the incredible artists that are sending me fan art. It just makes my day every single time I get a notification on my phone and it's like, <laughs> hey, some fan art. It's just incredible. I really, really enjoy that. And as always, buddies i appreciate the support that you guys give me on the daily especially the members Blair Boyens, rick and glacius and zach these members support me as little as five dollar bucks a month and you can support me by clicking the link in the comments or description or in the top right to become a member and remember to check the link in the comments or description for the sponsor of morgan and morgan you can spend a claim in eight clicks or less without having to leave your couch for more information you can go to for the people.com and as always don't forget to like comment subscribe and i hope you all have a great day <laughs> Bye bye and the last shall be first two immersed in a pass out heat facing him up with a moxie melt till he woke up drowning in tchotchke hell born a cave with a torch on a wall then a window arrangement of porcelain doll